Hi, I'm Susan Kirkpatrick, the Director of Career and Technical Education here at Friendswood High School. CTE includes programs such as agriculture, audio video production, graphic design, business marketing and finance, computer science, culinary arts, education and training, engineering, health science, biomedical science, and law and public service. Some of the space constraints that we have here at Friendswood High School cause problems with students accessing programs and our ability to enhance programs. So we'll take you around to some of our spaces to show you what we're talking about. Okay, we are currently in the engineering lab. This lab is shared by three teachers in the Project Lead the Way engineering program and also by our robotics team. The robotics field you see here is for the first tech challenge competition and that is really the junior varsity level of FIRST Robotics. It's a 12 by 12 field. We are not able to compete in the FIRST Robotics competition, the varsity level of robotics, because that requires a 26 by 54 foot field. Hi, now we're in the Culinary Arts Lab, which is made up of one room that's really the old home ec classroom at Friendswood High School, and then the other room is the Culinary Kitchen. And one of our constraints in culinary due to space is that we've had to limit the number of kids who ac have access to this program. So in the 2018-19 school year, 40 kids were turned away from culinary, and during the 19-20 the school year, we had to turn away 80 students. This is the Culinary Arts Lab for our upper level culinary arts programs and this is Melissa Novak, our culinary instructor. The other space constraint that we have is that we've had to get flexible with um, scheduling of classes. So Melissa has several sections of different courses during the same period. So our Culinary Arts 1 students function in this lab at the same time our practicum and culinary arts one student do. So we have about 30 students trying to cook at the same time in this lab. We're now in the computer science lab and one of the constraints we have in many of our programs is that class size and student access to programs is limited by the number of computers that can fit in a classroom. Um, this is also um, a lab space that doesn't allow for collaboration and it also doesn't allow for a lot of work in cybersecurity. We really need to enhance this program by adding a cybersecurity lab. This is our health science simulated hospital room and this program is grown tremendously over the last few years. We currently have three hospital beds with patients in this room, so it's very crowded when you add 15 students working to take care of these patients and learn the skills necessary. This is Carla Burris, our health science teacher. So Carla, do you want to tell us what this room is? So in this room, the students get to practice their skills such as uh, blood draws, uh, suture removal on our practice IV arms here. The back part of the room is our clinic for our certified medical assistant students to practice um, prior to going out to their internship. Okay, we're now in one of our ag science classrooms and this classroom is used both for floral design and small animal management as well as principles of agriculture and equine science. So we have our small animals here in the classroom and the floral design lab next door. So this floral design lab um, is used by two teachers, 160 students work in here each day as well as 15 advanced floral students and we have a small cooler for them to keep their arrangements in but one of the biggest issues in this classroom as well as many other CTE programs is that every period students have to break down their projects put them away and get them out again the next class period. Our lab space would it would be great to have lab space where projects could stay out and students could just come in each day and get started without having to set up and tear down. Because of space constraints and ag science, we're also not able to enhance this program. Um, one of the things we would like to do is have a kennel and grooming area 
for community members to bring in their animals for dog washes and nail trims. And then the other enhancement would be to add a program where we would be able to socialize and train service dogs. Okay, we're in the audio video production classroom with the instructor Al Tag, who will take you on a tour. All right, so this is uh, one of our classrooms for the AV program. It is a computer lab. Um, uh, electricians have told me that they're nervous when they walk into this room because of the number of machines we have plugged in at once. We do fit uh, 20 to 21 students in the room at a time, which is a very uh, claustrophobic environment. Um, it's also limited because of the amount of space we have, how many students we can accept into the classroom uh, because we just don't have room for uh, enough computers. This is also where we do our screenings for film appreciation and our MCS show. We project on a, on a wall. Okay, so this is the control room for our MCS broadcast. Uh, we usually have five or so students in here uh, working on headsets with students in the, uh, in the studio. Um, the classroom is next door. We have a, a series of windows that uh, I can peek through, but um, to get files from one room into this room and notifying the next room, it's a bit of a, they get their steps in going back and forth between the different rooms. This is the MCS studio. From what I understand, it is a converted library book closet. Uh, but we do use this to store our equipment. Uh, what you're looking at is maybe about uh, five or six thousand dollars worth of cameras and cases and microphones that are stored in cabinets. There's not really room for us to to put it anywhere else. Um, this is the room that they perform the show every day. Uh, we have to move these cameras out of the way to use this space for anything else. Uh, we also have a limited space for our tripods and light stands to be stored. Um, our Skills USA jackets are stored here. So there's a lot of moving, everything's on wheels so we can move it in and out of the space as we need it for different purposes.